morning, my beautiful friends and family. How are you? I hope you're all doing wonderful. I am doing a collab with Barbara from Barbara's Beauty Bag. And we're doing something a little different. We're doing it with this beautiful palette that we both love so very much. I actually purchased one and sent it to Barbara last year and we've been meaning to do a collab with it since so she came up with the idea first we were going to do it um she was going to pick my shades and i was going to pick her shades and then she's like how about we do this instead because i was like i want it before we even decided exactly what we were doing i was like i want to do something different you know do it with a twist so she came up with the idea that we um, let the cup decide the shades that we're going to use. So I'm a little scared and a little nervous. Anyway, there are all of these gorgeous shades in there. So I wrote numbers 1 through 18 and stuck them all in here. I'll show you. The little pieces of paper in there. There's 18 of them in there. So, I'm going to pick out, I think we chose four. Yes, we chose four. So I'm going to pick out four shades, not four shades, four numbers, and then see what shade it is. So let's do this. I'm nervous, because what if they don't go together? <laughs> you know? All right, so there's one. There's two. There's three. Nervous. And there's four. Okay. So we got four of them right here. So we've got number 17. We'll find out in a sec. <laughs> We've got number 10. We've got number 11. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't remember. And we got 18. Ooh, I'm very nervous. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Okay, the rest of them are in there. I'm going to close this up. And put that down there. All right, so let's see what shades I am using. Ooh, number 18 is gorgeous, and so is it number 17. So, woo, two of my favorite shades. That's exciting. I love it. Okay, so we got, all right, so number 17. Number 17 is Vile Serpent, which is this gorgeous greenish blue. And then we got Betrayal, which is this gorgeous blue pink so that's 17 and 18 now we got number 10 and 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 oh no bleeding heart i was worried about that how's that gonna go with that oh goodness so we got bleeding heart vile serpent and betrayal and then we have Executioner, which is the black, but it's got pink specks in it, which I absolutely love this shade. So I'm not worried about that. I just have to figure out where the red is going to fit in. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. Because that, that red throws a little wrench into this. And as you can see, I have not done my face or anything at all. 
thought I had swatches, but I didn't. I waved them off. Oh, no, I didn't. They're right there. I was like, I knew I could see them because I just swatched a palette. <laughs> so let me wipe that off. So if you want to see what I come up with, stay tuned because I am going to do my face and come back. And hopefully I'll have some kind of an idea. I really don't. But I know I can make it work. I was worried about that red. But that's okay. It's a beautiful shade. And I know I can make this work. I just know it. I mean, makeup is fun, right? And that's what it's supposed to be. So I shall return. Alrighty. Got my face done. <sighs> Let's do this. I'm excited. I really am. So, again, we got 10, 11, 17, and 18. Take that out. So, we have Bleeding Heart and Executioner. And then we have Vile Serpent and Betrayal. So I'm excited, but nervous, <laughs> but I think I know what I'm going to do. All right. I already put P. Louise base down, did my brows. I think I am going to take the red serpent and go in my crease. Make sure that's dry. I figured it would be dry, totally dry. Took my dog out and all that as well. There. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take some of that red serpent. Not red serpent. What am I thinking? <laughs> Bleeding heart, which is that beautiful red. It's really not bad. As long as you don't cake it on there. And pack it in there. We wanted to show a little bit, you know, because it, it's like a, it's a pinky red. Sage. Sage, Mama's doing a video. You need to be good. Sage. No. Sage, go lay down. Be good. I just took her out, gave her a treat, fed her her supper. Oh, now I know why she's crying. Daddy's home. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, she was whining because daddy's home. I thought I would have time to get this done, but it still won't take that long. I'm excited. To see how this turns out because I really don't know what I'm doing yet I never do but I thought that using the bleeding heart would be a good way you know it would be a good way to start by using that in the cut crease and a little bit above because I still want it to show a little bit because it's not like a red in your face red it's really pretty red all right, now I'm going to go in to the Executioner, which is that beautiful black, with the pinkish purple glitter in it. Let's see. I might have to get a different brush. Hmm. 
Maybe not. Yep, yeah, let me get a different brush here. Right there. No, nope, I think this one will be better. I'm going to put a little bit more of that red, the bleeding heart, into the splash. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. You know, all of these, just about, I think just about every one of Jeffree Star's palettes, most of them, have a black in them. I would love to see what the difference is between the blacks. That would be a cool video, I think. To see how different they perform. Even if it's just swatches. I think that would be a cool thing to do. Add some more of that red. These brushes are going to have to be clean for sure. Yeah, I didn't put any red in there. Makes a difference. We still want the red to show. need to put a little more black down on this side. And then I think we're going to go in with the green. <clears throat> I haven't decided on the lower left what we're going to do. Alright, let's go into the green. This beautiful vile serpent. It's like a greenish blue, really. This is a dark look what you would call a dark, grungy look, but it's okay. I'm just happy that it's shades that will work together.
actually like this. Not bad at all. All right. Now let's go into that beautiful betrayal. <clears throat> Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. It's kind of hoping for a really pretty shimmer to add to this, but we didn't get one, so I'm just going to take some more of that Betrayal. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it would have been nice to have one of those shimmers to highlight up top. I mean, I have a little highlight, but I mean a shadow to highlight. That's okay. All right, now let's go in with some more of that black. What do y'all think? You can still see the red throughout the black. And on top a little. All right, I will be right back. I am going to do the finishing touches, put some mascara on, and I'll be right back. All right, this is my finished look. I added a little bit of highlight. I don't remember the name. It's from Lily Posh Cosmetics. Add a little bit to the inner corner and above. And that it, I also had it on my cheeks and my nose. So what do y'all think? I took some liner and did the inner corner and the outer. I think it looks great. I love it. I can't wait to see what Barbara came up with and what Cup chose for her. I'm really excited. So, yeah, make sure you go watch her video as well. It'll definitely be down in the description box along with all my other information that I always have. You know, links and uh, codes and all of that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what you think down below. I actually like the way it turned out. Like I said, I was a little nervous about the red, but, well, the bleeding heart. It actually worked out great. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, I hope you will consider subscribing. And please hit that thumbs up for me. And share me out if you like. It just helps bring more people to watch my content and if they like it they can subscribe as well and um you never know when i'm going to do a pop-up giveaway either which i have a feeling one's coming soon so anyway 
please be remember to treat others the way you want to be treated. Always, always be kind. You just don't know what someone's going through and you can turn their day around so easily just by saying hello or just a smile. And don't forget to take care of you. Do something nice for you. Be kind to yourself. Always take out time for you. We don't do it enough. And just remember that I love you just the way you are. You're perfect. You're beautiful. And you're special. So with that, I'm just going to say much love to you all. Big hugs. And until the next one, lots of love and lots of blessings. And peace out.